Hey everybody, I want to talk about science because science is one of those things that when you study the science of something, you can't argue with science, right? Like you just, facts are facts. So um, let's talk about the science behind Monate and their products and the science of our hair, what's going on here and in our scalp, okay? So we all have what's called follicles and we have tiny little holes all over our scalp and each follicle has a hair that comes out of that hole. Now, um, if you have straight hair, this is kind of a fun fact. If you have straight hair, that means your holes are perfectly round. The hair comes straight out. If you have curly hair, your follicles are actually oval. So if you think of like, you know, when you take um, scissors to like wrapping paper or wrapping string to tie and you go like that and it like coils up, basically an oil oval foil follicle is turning the hair. So the more oval your, um, your follicle is, the curlier your hair usually is. So um, that's kind of just a fun fact. So then each follicle, each hair strand has its own blood supply. Every single follicle. So think of, um, think of like frostbite, right? If we get frostbite on our hands, what happens is the blood stops going. It stops supplying our fingertips and our fingers. Like if, if you were to get frostbite and eventually then it would break off and fall off or have to be taken off because there's, it dies. There's no more blood supply. Well, that happens to our hair too. If those follicles get suffocated, and that blood supply gets cut off, that hair stops growing, um, and that follicle stops producing a hair. So um, I've talked about this a lot, and a lot of um, our Monate family talks about how our hair care line actually promotes hair growth. So I'm going to get into that, um, which is really, really fascinating. Like, how do hair products promote hair growth from inside the scalp? So we're going to get to that. But what I want to talk about too is kind of from a hairdresser's standpoint, because I'm sure you've heard like hairdressers talk about, well, you want to keep your hair healthy by trimming it. Okay. So how does that even make sense? Like cutting your ends doesn't make your hair grow faster um, here, right? What giving your hair a healthy trim here means for hair growth is if your ends are healthy, um, when you're using heat and mechanical damp mechanical tools to style your hair all the time, it um, the those ends that get weak or are weaker if they're not trimmed healthily healthy, then they will break off more um, more often, um, and so then it just seems as though your hair is growing slower than it would. Um, so keeping your ends trimmed healthy means that you have less breakage and split ends here. Um, and so your hair will grow and look healthier, thicker, faster. Okay. So Monate actually stimulates the hair growth from inside the follicle. One of the things that can happen in our hair and um, underneath in our follicle is we have what's called a sebaceous gland and that gland produces oil. That oil keeps our follicle healthy, but it can, that oil pushes out um, things that aren't supposed to be in our follicle that can clog our follicles, right? So if you have an overproduction of oil, if you get really oily really fast, that's what's happening. Your hair is, um, your sebaceous gland is overproducing oil to clean out those follicles. Um, one of the main 
proponents to over oily scalp and I know that a lot of people who are addicted to dry shampoo they can't live without their dry shampoo they use it a lot well then their hair is oilier faster and it becomes like this vicious cycle well talc and um, isobutane some of those toxic ingredients will will coat your scalp and get into your follicles and then it makes your sebaceous gland over produce oil and waxes and silicones can do that too in your shampoos and conditioners. So you want to be on the lookout for that kind of stuff when you're using other shampoo and conditioner. Um, Monate doesn't have any of that stuff in there. That's why we talk about Monate restoring your scalp back to its original pH balance um, because that's what it's doing. It cleans out those follicles and it pushes out all those nasty ingredients. And then some people will go through what's called a healing phase of their hair where their hair feels extra oily oily or super tangly or extra dry and that is our hair trying to fix itself and our scalp trying to fix itself and that takes some time for our hair and scalp to actually do that for us. There's another awesome um, little muscle. Um, each follicle has its own little muscle under the scalp and it's a papillae muscle. I'm probably not saying that right. These words are kind of big words. So um, this gives your hair volume and um, it our root lifter actually goes into the follicle and it stimulates that muscle. So that's why you're like, oh, how does a root lifter even work? It actually stimulates that muscle, giving your hair that, like, that lift, um, which I think is so cool. It contracts that muscle um, using natural ingredients to do so. Um, then we have what's called hair cycles. All of our hair go, every single strand goes through three hair cycles. Um, the anagen phase is when your hair is healthy, it's growing, it's in its growing cycle, and it's attached to the blood supply, and it's living and growing and dividing. Um, our cells divide, so um, that is really cool, um, and that's how we keep growing our hair. So. Um, every single hair is on a different cycle of its own, right? Then there's the catagen phase, which it detaches from the blood supply, but it doesn't leave the hair follicle yet. Um, because if you're using products that have those silicones and waxes in it, your hair could actually be, be being held in by um, during that catagen phase could be held in by those waxes and silicones. So then what happens is maybe you start using um, a good, clean, healthy product, you will see a hair shedding, a huge hair shedding, because now you're stripping off those waxes and silicones off the scalp. That hair is now leaving when it should have been shedding all along. If your hair doesn't properly shed, we're supposed to lose 50 to 100 hairs a day. If your scalp isn't shedding those hairs regularly um, and they're being held in, what's going to happen is those follicles eventually will die. The blood supply will get cut off because a new hair can't grow. So it kills that follicle and then we see thinning. So that's where like hair thinning is happening. Um, and we can stop that from happening. So um, it there's been people that talk about, oh, Monate made my hair fall out. Hair loss happens at a cellular level. Um, and there's things that can contribute to that, like diet, genetics, um, and so our health and what we put into our bodies makes a huge difference on how healthy our skin and our hair is. Um, so like our skin is like the largest organ that we have um, and the cells under the skin are always dividing. And so if we have things in our body that are attacking our cells, then our, our skin ages, um, our our skin stops producing the natural oils to keep it 
like soft and um, the color and everything, all the things. Um, so our hair, let's get back to hair for a second. I kind of got off track, but I'm going to go back to what I just talked about. Um, the third phase is the tele tel telogen phase. This is where the hair actually falls out of the scalp and we lose that hair. Um, and that's a really, really important stage to go through because that means a new hair is going to come through. So if you were to give Monate a real try for, you know, three to six months, you're going to see your hair go through all three of those phases. And generally around that 90 day period is when you're going to start seeing all these new hairs come through. I've seen it on my clients because I've been doing this and myself, I've been doing this for um, a little over two years now. And I, um, some of my clients who have really fine, weaker hair just in general felt like their hair wasn't getting longer and their hair wasn't healthy are seeing such a huge difference like three and six months down the road after using it. We're going to talk about the good things that Monet has first is the Rejuvenique S. It's a blend of 13 botanicals and essential oils and um, the molecules in Rejuvenique are so small they can actually penetrate all three layers of the hair strand and they can get into the follicle and they are healthy for the hair and the skin and the follicles. They help clean out and rejuvenate and rebuild, uh, which no other oil on the market can do that, you guys. So a lot of oils will just sit there. The molecules aren't small enough. So sure, they'll make your hair shiny, but they're not doing anything to actually protect your hair or rebuild it or make it healthier. So um, if I have a client who's having issues with extra oil production or dry, because this oil, oil combats oil and oil combats dryness, which is amazing that it can do both, right? So um, it, it, our hair can do one or the other, like it'll either produce more oil or it'll dry out. So if your hair is doing one of those two things and you're having, even if you're having like an allergic reaction, you may not even know that it's an allergic reaction. Your hair, you just might feel like your hair and your scalp are always dry. That could be your body telling you you're having an allergic reaction to an ingredient in your product that you're using. Oh, or it could be something you're eating too. So our body has a way of pushing things out out in other areas and we don't we don't attribute it to maybe something we're eating um, or putting on our hair so when I talk about the oil going into our scalp what is so cool is that let's say a hair is you know almost to that catagen phase where it's about to detach from the bud supply and shed, our oil actually pulls it back to the bud supply, making that hair stronger and healthier and rebuilding it. So it will prolong those phases for you. And so you're going to over time see your hair get healthier and healthier. If your hair has gotten to the stage where it is completely detached, but it hasn't left your hair, it will help, the oil will help push that hair out so a new hair can grow in faster. Um, and that's very cool too. We actually want our hair to be shedding and new hairs growing in um, all the time because that means that underneath the scalp and where our cells are, our cells are able to divide and that's really, really important for the health of our body, if for our cells to divide and regrow itself. Okay, let's talk about Capixel. Capixel is what is known and heard of as red um, and a red clover extract. Um, it's not the scary red clover. We're not ingesting it um, orally. It's a topical red clover. So it is healthy for the hair and the scalp. It will not affect women who are pregnant in any shape or form. This is a very, very, very small amount in our shampoo, but it's in a lot of things. So red clover is a flower um, and it's a proprietary blend. That's why it is safe for um, usage on our hair and scalp. Um, and it 
uh, it's not straight red clover. So I just want to be clear, but it's a phytoestrogen. And we know that estrogen is really, really important for hair growth in women. Then we have what's called procatiline, and that's a pea extract. Uh, this will strengthen your hair um, the stem cells in your hair. Stem cells in our hair, um, basically it'll tell, uh, those cells will tell our body that we need to produce and redivide um, like our skin does. And our skin is always like dividing and um, replacing itself. So our stem cells in our hair will do the exact same thing. Okay, so let's talk about antioxidants. We have a ton of antioxidants in our in our hair and skincare products, but what antiox what do antioxidants do actually? Um, so we all have cells that are dividing, 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 and those cells can become angry. And what an antioxidant does is it goes in and it grabs onto those angry molecules um, that have produced uh, free radicals in our body. So those free radicals can go in and attack areas of our body, like our skin and our face and um, everything in our body. Those free radicals can attack it and then cause things to stop producing. Like our, that's what causes wrinkles and things because like our cells and our, our have stopped divided or the molecules are angry. And so they start taking uh, good parts of our body away from where, where we need those places to divide and be healthy. So the free radical, so the antioxidants will go in and grab those free radicals and get them out of our body so that our cells can do what they need to do and redivide in a healthy way. So the more antioxidants we have, the better our hair and skin will look. So, you know, eating things with antioxidants is really, really good for us. The more antioxidants we can absorb into our body, the better. So the better, obviously, our hair and skin will look with antioxidants. So this is the part, the antioxidant part is what makes our hair and skincare line anti-aging. Um, there, obviously there's a million anti-aging skincare brands out there, but we don't talk about anti-aging hair care. We are literally the only anti-aging hair care and it's because our shampoos and conditioners and our styling products are packed full of antioxidants. Um, so I just think that is the coolest thing about our hair care line and why I love it so much. The next ingredient is called Corotosorb and Corotosorb is a sunscreen um, for our hair. And our hair is made up of like pro is made up of protein and also cells, right? But UV light um, and uh, sun sun rays from the UV rays from the sun will can cause our hair to become damaged and brittle. So the Crotosorb goes in and protects it like a sunscreen um, to prevent that damage. The other really cool thing is the water that is added to our products. First of all, our products are heavily concentrated. Um, it's about 40% uh, products and 60% water. Um, most salon brands and store brands are 80% water, 20% product. So we have 20% more ingredients in our products. That's why they last uh, three, four, sometimes five or six months for most people. Um, but the water that they put into our shampoos and conditioners has been filtered using um, reverse osmosis. Um, if you have hard water, um, essentially it means that there is calcium in your water and other products aren't spending that extra time and money reversing their water and taking out that calcium. So that calcium, what, what it can do is it can make your hair brassy. It can make your hair dull. Um, so we see that a lot in blondes, but it can happen to anybody's hair. Um, calcium could be in your products making your hair dull and um, lack shine. So um, 
you know, that's why conditioners have waxes and silicones in it and your hair might slide, the comb might slide right through after you've conditioned with these. But what it's doing, it's giving you fake shine. It's actually, your hair might be damaged, but there's no you know, you still have shine to it because those silicones and waxes are laying on the surface of your hair. Um, so, uh, those, your products could be dulling your hair, making it look, um, or pretending to be healthy for your hair by pretending to look shiny by putting that uh, coating on there. But calcium in your water will do that to your hair. Um, and that's why they have taken the extra time and money um, by reversing and taking the calcium out of the water, making it pure so that it doesn't act it doesn't act up with those ingredients in your shampoo bottle, keeping your ingredients clean and healthy and lasting longer on your, on your shelf. Okay, so we've talked about all the great things that are in Monate. So now let's talk about all the no's. These are all the bad things that we don't put in our products. Um, I'm going to go through all the uh, the no's, and I'm going to tell you what they do and what they mean. And they're not just these buzzwords that we talk about, like no parabens, no waxes, silicones. I'm actually going to tell you what each of these things are. So let's start with parabens. What is a paraben? Essentially, it's a preservative, but it's an unconfirmed endocrine, your en endocrine dis disruptor, endocrine, our endocrine system. Okay, so phthalates, I, I, I think I'm saying that wrong. Um, this is the most alarming one, um, but it causes infertility. It's proven to cause, um, metabolic disorders and it decreased immune function. That's huge. So if we're using these um, ingredients in our in a lot of products um, from er really early on, like as a baby, we don't even know like, you know, what's being used um, in a lot of these products. Um, now that we are more aware of what these things are doing to our bodies long term and early exposure to it, we can pick better products. So sicilic silicones uh, is the next one. And basically it's a rubber coating. That's what's giving your hair that faux shine um, and making your hair real slick to comb through. Um, but it's really it's not doing your hair any favors. It might make it easier and make it appear shiny, but it's actually um, clogging your, your pores and causing other issues in your hair and skin. The silic silicones in small amounts can be causing our cells to, um, to, to decrease in cell renewal. So um, over time, like that's what's happening in our hair and our skin is, you know, we're using these products that are causing our cells to break down and not function well. Okay, the next one is phenoexoethanol. Like, what the heck is that? Um, basically, I have never found a skincare line that doesn't have this in it um, until Monate. So it is pretty revolutionary that Monate does not have this in their skincare, but it's a preservative. Um, it, they use this to preserve cadavers um, in like colleges and in hospitals and things like when in science uh, labs, when they're using this, it is known if you're breathing this in, you, basically, if you can, it can cause fetal damage. Um, it can cause you from even getting pregnant, or if you have a baby, it can cause you to lose your child. I mean, it's nasty. Um, it's basically in all makeup and skincare products, which is super alarming. Um, so, uh, it's a known carcinogen. So, we just need to stay away from that in all of our products. So you're probably aware of like the clean product movement. So many companies are coming out with clean products for cleaning your house. And um, 
I want to be part of that movement with my hair and skin care too. So I am just so proud of our company and what they have um, developed is pretty amazing. Um, and if you're not on the forefront of, you know, selling a product that um, doesn't have this nasty, toxic stuff in it, um, you need to be taking a look at those products and see what's in them. Um, because they could be causing a lot of issues that you didn't really maybe attribute it to um, down the road and in your health and the health of our children. So, Okay, so I am just so pumped to like um, share with you guys the knowledge of what I've learned and why I'm so passionate about these products and why they are so good for you and your hair and your skin. Um, and when we know better, we do better, we choose better, and we can be better together. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some great information out of it. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.